Photoshop comes with lots of filters that you can apply in combination to get an almost unlimited number of different looks on the same image. In this video, you'll learn how to preview and apply combinations of filters using the filter gallery. If you're following along, open this image from the practice files for this tutorial. We only have one layer in this image. If you're working on a multi-layer image, then select the layer to which you want to apply the filter. And then go up to the filter menu. And if you come down to this area, you can apply a single filter from any of these categories. But let's see how we can preview and apply combinations of filters. For that, choose Filter Gallery from this menu. That opens this big Filter Gallery window, with the last filter that you used applied to the open image. So your image may look slightly different than mine. Over on the left, there's a big preview, and in the middle, there are thumbnails of filters. To preview a filter on your image, just click its thumbnail. And you'll find lots more filter thumbnails in these folders. I'll click the arrow to the left of this folder to open it, and I'll click on one of these filters. Now, even if you don't like the look of a filter at first, give it a chance, because there's a lot you can do over in the next column, where you'll find controls that are unique to whichever filter you just selected and you can experiment with these controls. What's really special about the filter gallery is that you can preview combinations of filters on your image here. To add another filter, I'll go down to the bottom of the column on the right, and I'll click this Create New Filter Layer icon. You can now see that there are two copies of Diffuse Glow applied to this image. With the top one selected, I'll apply a different second filter instead. I'm going to click the arrow to the left of the Texture folder and scroll down a little and click on the Texturizer filter. With this filter, you can choose different textures to add to an image. And you have controls you can use to vary the look. Let's add one more filter to this combination by going down to the bottom of the column and clicking this icon and then going over and selecting another filter thumbnail. Even if you don't like the look of this at first, you can go back to the filter layers where there's now a new layer and click and drag that layer beneath another filter and get a very different look. You can turn these filter layers off and on temporarily by clicking the eye icon to the left of any one. So there's how this looks without that last filter and here's how it looks with the filter. If you really don't like one of the filters, you can delete it by selecting it here and then going down and clicking the trash icon. When you like the preview of a combination of filters, you can apply them to the image by going up to the top of this window and clicking OK. That closes the filter gallery window and takes you back to your main Photoshop workspace. Applying those filters has made a permanent change to this image. So regardless of the format in which you save the image now, the filters will be baked in and non-editable. If you don't like the filters, the only thing you can do at this point would be to undo. As you get better at Photoshop, you may decide to give yourself more flexibility by applying filters in a non-permanent way as editable smart filters, as you'll learn how to do in the next video.